Okay guys, here I am. I'm working on my rhythm page. And a note to myself is rhythm is the repetition um, of visual elements um, in a pattern. It also helps to create movement and we'll talk a little bit more about visual movement on uh, next class. But um, as far as rhythm, there are different kinds of rhythm. There is alternating, okay, alternating rhythm. And what I want you to do with alternating rhythm is I want you to go ahead and um, compare it to regular rhythm, regular, okay? The regular rhythm is the easy one, but alternating is the fun one. So in order, when you're thinking about rhythm, it's good to think about your page in a grid. Regular, alternating. So notice how I'm like not using my ruler because these are visual notes. Okay, so let's say my visual motif was a circle. Then I would just have a circle again and again. I am not changing the size at all. It's just the same thing again. But it creates a pretty cool pattern, right? You know, like the pattern of structure, a pattern of total order. I love it. And with your new markers um, or with your colored pencils, you could go ahead and color that and make that pretty. Maybe you want to make it into some spheres. Dark to light, dark. But you want it to be the same, right? Because it's regular rhythm. Chung, 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 chung. It's the same thing again and again and again. Voila. Okay, but like, can we guess what alternating might be? I mean, can we just take a guess? Right? So regular rhythm, like look at this. For example, like you guys keep coloring that, but look, I stole my kids Lucky Charms. Taste the rainbow. And check it out. Okay? Like, you guys are like, oh my god, Miss Kapoor's going crazy. But no, I haven't. Because we need more time to draw. Uh oh, they're coming to find Lucky Charms. Oh, she's coming. You need more time to draw, and I can show you something. Oh, thank you so much, Sophie. Okay, so, oh, okay, she took one. Um, like if, let's say my visual motif was a unicorn. Well, I would have unicorn. Can I have a unicorn? No, don't eat the unicorns, I'm using them to teach. Unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. Okay, so that's a regular rhythm. Unicorn, again, 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 okay? So like, that's just like, you don't have to get out Lucky Charms, don't take Lucky Charms from your siblings. Okay, alternating, well you have like different motifs. So let's say circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. It goes every other, right? Uh, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. Circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. Okay, so is it alternating, regular, alternating. It flips or it changes or something. Okay, but it's every other. So you can work on that. Visual notes, visual notes, visual notes, visual notes, notes, notes. Visual notes, visual notes. Beautiful, beautiful, I love it. Okay, and then um, to shake up the triangle, I wanna do kind of like an opposite color, right? So a warmer color. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It could be a heart, it could be a bunny rabbit, but I wouldn't go too complicated because these are just visual notes. Okay, so it's alternating rhythm. Okay, so what would that be like? Well, heart, 
What is this? How, what do I have a lot of? Oh, I have a lot of these things. Thing! Heart. That's not a heart. Heart. Horseshoe. So you can do that. I mean, you can actually do this exercise. You can take pictures with stuff around the house. That would be really cute, actually. Right? Okay. I'm, I'm running out of hearts and horseshoes. But you get the idea. That's alternating rhythm. Okay? Oh, my God. We're going to get sugar everywhere. We're going to be roaches. Roaches, roaches. Oh, we're already five minutes in. Okay. So this is regular. Okay? Um, or no, that's regular. Regular alternating rhythm okay it's great you can have it in the background of your graffiti art projects it's gonna be so cool okay i'm trying to remember the other ones um there's progressive where something like slowly changes so let's say kind of like i have a focal point right here in the middle i don't know it puts anything in the middle really like a heart or whatever and it's coming out with some converging lines you guys are like, what are you doing? This might be a little too complicated for notes. But all of a sudden, you have circles and things are slowly getting bigger. Slowly getting, like things are slowly changing. That would be progressive. Oh, I forgot to write the word. Progressive. Progressive. Like we're walking upstairs. Like we're the progressive political party. Woo! Change is good. Yeehaw. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at the time. I hear my kids crying. This is the visual art teacher in remote land learning how to do a YouTube channel. Okay, so see how the circles are slowly getting bigger? That would look cool for your graffiti art project. I tell you, what? Dun. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful, okay? So it's progressive because it's the same thing, but it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? So for instance, I could also, also slowly go from like yellow in the middle. All my little circles are yellow, la, 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 la. And you know, it's getting less yellow as it goes out. And you know, you could take forever on this, right? You can. Make this nicer during academic prep. You can you could color it later and post it later. But the thing you have to ask is, will you? Some of you will, some of you won't. So, you know, get her done. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to get done. It doesn't need to get perfect. Okay, and then it gets red. And then we get really red out here. You guys are like, ew, that's messy, mess kapara. Guys, are um, mice going to come? to eat the lucky charms that's what i want to know and maybe it slowly goes from purple like it slowly goes around the color wheel to perp like to from red to purple i don't know like so that's another way that it's progressive because it's slowly turning colors and i really want to spend more time on this i wish it wasn't so messy but yours i'm telling you that yours can be messy okay so that's progressive progressive it's slowly changing okay and then what's the next one um there is flowing flowing rhythm is so cool guys so flowing is just a bunch of ways so let's say you have like you know your thing in the middle like let's say your graffiti art your focal point you have a point of interest in the middle like, like, for example, mine is lucky. Lucky. Lucky charms. Right? And so I could have flowing rhythm around it, which is basically like a bunch of flowing lines. I see the artists do that all the time. You basically just have kind of like waves, and that helps to create movement, actually. Right, and maybe you have other points of interest, like we have the visual motif of the circles, but the point is that things are just flowing in and out. And there's no like exact pattern. Things are just going around. Totally cool, man. Flowing rhythm, like it's like a wave, right? And then you could color that, you know, all sorts of different colors. 
surf the wave, man. You know, and I wish I had spent more time on my progressive, I'm going to be honest. I feel like I'm rushing that. It's just class is about to start. And I'm going to upload this to the YouTube. But I would, you know, for instance, in class, I said that I loved, um, guess what? I said that I loved uh, cool colors. So in this exercise, you should think, okay, well, what are the colors that I chose? And you should use the colors that make you happy. And you're going to be doing more art. Right? And think about things like complementary colors too. You know, like opposites. Like I really want my words to pop out. Oh, I love these cool colors here. Sorry. So you can use like cool colors in combination. Like put all your cool colors together. This is so cool. I'm trying to do a better job with this one than that one. Can you tell? You're like, no. Okay, but look, I'm using, I'm using different cool colors. Ooh, that looks kind of like a puke green. Test your colors. This is why we do dress. This is why we have a sketchbook. I don't know if this, I like this at all. But then I would pick an opposite color, a color that's on the opposite of the color wheel. When I'm, when I'm coloring the thing that I want to stick out, like I want these words to stick out. Well, I purposely would pick a complementary color, okay? Like right here, you know, like let's say I keep coloring this. Flowing. Then I would pick the opposite and make sure you go all the way up to the edge with your hard boundaries. Okay, I'm getting off topic, but this is flowing rhythm. Flowing, like totally, man. You know, you're creating a bunch of waves. Oh, that looks cool. See, you'll discover like which colors. I would love to see you in your seesaw just exploring which colors go nice together. Color is just such a great thing. Stay in the lines, Miss Copera. My daughter would be livid right now. She'd be like, oh my God, that is not good. But you know what? Don't worry about being judged. Okay, seriously. Look, look how nice this looks down there. When you have like one little flowy... And then another flowy. And you kind of have like a flowing on this side and a flowy on this side. Different color waves. And that, we call it flowing. That creates something called visual movement, which we're going to learn more about next class. But I want you to think about like Vincent Van Gogh's painting. That you wrote about in your fire right. Or you will write about if you haven't written about already. I mean, that thing, that thing is filled with flowing rhythm. It really is. And you could argue that the stars in the middle of his painting are progressive. The stars are kind of like coming out bigger, 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 bigger. You got all these swirls around there. So you're like, why are we doing this? Well, I'm telling you, we're learning the tricks of the artists, guys. I really can't stop coloring sometimes. And you know what? That's a good thing. Save your art till the end. Okay, but remember like, okay, so Vincent Van Gogh. Like, we could add progressive rhythm into that, this, right? Where things slowly get bigger and bigger, right? You could, you could play around. And right now here live, you could start to get ideas for your graffiti art project. It's like, oh, wow, I'm really feeling like I love Lucky. Look, notice how I'm holding my colors, my color palette, and I'm switching it out. I'm like going around. And, you know, rhythm helps to create unity because, look, I have, like, one color. Right? I'm switching around. I'm using the same colors. Okay, but it's flowing rhythm because it's wavy. <laughs> like, totally, man. Guys, I really wish I had the cool markers that you did. I don't have them yet. I asked Miss Flores to send me some. Okay, so that's flowing. Okay, I should have written flowing in the middle. That's flowing rhythm. This is progressive, right? Slowly changing. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my complementary colors, right? Opposites, greens and reds. I don't know, maybe it's slowly getting dark because I want it to slowly change and slowly get dark. It's going from warm to dark. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. Trying different things. We like start going to the next one. Okay, the next one is random. And at the beginning of class, I picked. Oh, stop, eat a lucky charms. I picked geometric shapes as what I was going to use in my notes for random rhythm. And I might use it in another abstract composition. I might. Okay. And so, for geometric shapes, because it's random, there is no, like, pattern. There's nothing, like, simple about it. it there, there's just, it's just random. It's, like, totally all over the place. And you could think about your favorite song, you know? How it gets, like, bigger and bigger and progressively bigger. But then all of a sudden, maybe there's a point of interest. Maybe there's a large circle in the background here. Oh my gosh, that circle's totally lumpy. Um, but I'm just using like that Kandzinski painting, the same shapes. And maybe I'm doing like lines. And I'm not making zigzags, but a bunch of lines can create movement around the page. You're asking yourself, what about the Lucky Charms? Well, I'll show you what random rhythm looks like with the Lucky Charms. I mean, there's no like specific pattern. Actually, there's so many Lucky Charms, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna move this. Am I gonna vacuum after class, guys? Guys are like, what's wrong with Miss Copero? Okay, so this is, this is like random, like what? Like, it's just kind of like all over the place, but it should create some kind of progression of movement. So maybe Lucky Charms aren't working. This is working better. Right? And then I would just like color that. So that is random. Okay. And in the last composition, I want you to kind of like choose your own. So call it my favorite rhythm. Oops. My favorite. And I want you to pick one. Okay. Okay. So based on what you're talking about in class, right? So I know I like geometric shapes more than organic. I know I like cool colors more, right? So go ahead and do your own kind of composition with rhythm. Got it? And enjoy it, you know? And this could be like a little sketch, okay? So like this is kind of like a free form one. So I think I really like flowing and I really like progressive. So what am I gonna do with geometry, right? Well, maybe I get inspired by, I don't know, Van Gogh, right? And I have a star in the middle, okay? But then I have a bunch of shapes going out, getting bigger and bigger, and it's okay. You can go ahead and you can make like guiding lines for yourself. I want things to slowly change as they go out. And then maybe you're going to, maybe you'll combine some. I don't know. Like, look, I'm doing alternating going out. So maybe you'll like work on, maybe you'll use a little bit of each rhythm. Triangle. I don't know. Triangle. So the triangles are slowly getting bigger, but then they're getting random. But you can have kind of like dominant ones and then you could turn that into a composition so this is kind of like a combo of alternating and random maybe i'll have the sticks maybe i'll have sticks coming out that are slowly getting bigger and then i think about color okay you always want to think about color because color is what brings your pattern and your rhythm together so again, I love my cool colors and maybe I wanna do like flowing rhythm in the back. I mean, by the way, once you do your favorite for extra credit, you can make it like bigger. Okay, you can do a bigger one in your journal and get extra credit. So thinking about my complementary colors, right? Oranges for my point of interest, right? I could do kind of like a red wash but really darken the edge with hard boundaries. Okay. 
because you're like, she colors like a kindergartner. Like, Don't judge. This is in class and we're doing this fast. We only have like 20 minutes for this activity. So I am basically choosing like one of these and I'm using them in combination. So for my progressive rhythm, I'm using progressive and it's slowly getting big on the way out. And maybe I want the colors, the warm colors to slowly shift. And I'm using, and I, but it's also kind of random, right? And I'm kind of alternating it a little. And maybe I want to alternate it where like every other color Everyone is orange, but you know, that might get confusing. So I'm going to stick with progressive. You're like, make up your mind. But I, the thing is, the thing is that I want to show you guys my thinking. And don't forget to color all of them, you know, like make this one random. But play with, what I want you to do is I want you to play with complementary colors too, right? So the opposite of red is green. So try to juxtapose, and juxtapose means put opposites next to each other. Try it with a hard boundary, really darken the edges of your colors, of your shapes, and that makes the reds pop out. So outline your reds like explore with what what should i put opposite okay i gotta stop i gotta go to class guys and then slowly i can transition from green to blue maybe i want to really outline are you drawing unicorns i i'm not drawing unicorns sophie maybe i really want to outline <laughs> oranges but like slowly like it's changing okay so it's going red and it's getting bigger <clears throat> and bigger and bigger and bigger maybe the colors are slowly shifting to a darker red so i'm gonna give you these lucky charms to take downstairs um maybe it's slowly going to blue maybe i keep the green background ah it's puke green no but you're slowly shifting the color you know, or maybe you're doing random, right? Maybe random's your favorite and you're going back and you're exploring like, okay, so, well, I could just do this all day. You guys get the picture. I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. I really wish I could just color all day. Um, but you guys, you know, you have these cool art supplies and you're in isolation and I would just do it. So maybe all my circle Sophie should be like cool colors. What do you think? Mm -hmm. And then all of the pointy shapes should be warm colors. Did you know I ate them? Okay, and then make sure you label these. Yeah. Okay, so I just caught that I didn't do that. Okay, so this is just a beginning of like making a note page, but this is, this is alternating Diego. rhythm. Regular, unicorn, 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 same thing, same thing. Progressive, it's slowly changing, like the circles are slowly getting bigger. Something's slowly changing, flowing. You have all these cool flowing shapes. Or random, it's just kind of like everywhere. And then I want you to do your own. You could turn over, you could do a visual journal page um, and do something bigger with rhythm and your new colors. I would love to see that on Seesaw. But first do your visual notes. And uh, guys, make sure you have that color wheel done, right? So you understand relationships, opposite, 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 cool, warm, okay? Make sure you got that done. All right, have a good day, guys.